Okay, so guys, uh, we want to make a city out of a plane. Let's see how we do that with geometry nodes. So I'm just going to add a plane. I'm going to scale it to anything. I'm just also going to apply the scale and uh, uh, let's go to geometry nodes and turn on a new geometry, create a new geometry nodes modifier. I'll just uh, move this around and uh, I'm going to subdivide this a bit uh, because we need the subdivisions. Subdivide. Uh, let me turn on wireframe so that we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to subdivide this a bit, maybe not too much something like that but uh, we want uh, the city to have because this is just a grid we want the city to have character so a grid city is boring so what we're going to do is uh, uh, create a distribute points distribute points on surfaces on faces and uh, this is going to give us the points that uh, uh, we're going to use to kind of uh, randomize the faces or the points so that we give our city a character uh, let me show you what I mean so if I reduce this, you can see this gives us some random positions for each part, for each a point, and we can use that on these vertices, so we can move these points around according to the uh, distribute points on the surfaces. So what we're going to do is capture these points uh, using the capture, uh, sorry, the transfer attributes, so that we can transfer the position of these points. Uh, let's get the position, the position attribute. I need to change this to vector. Basically, transfer that and uh, use a set position because we want to set the position of these points, of these vertices, according to the points, to the position of these points. So if I connect this directly to this, uh, you need to make sure that uh, you change from nearest face to nearest, and uh, that should give us something like this. And uh, if I reduce uh, the points, the distance here, you can see I get even a more random option. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to change this to poison disk so that I can set a minimum distance. Increase the density. Now you can see, yeah, we our city is no longer a grid. And uh, each of these uh, edges is going to act as a road. So let's uh, prepare for that. So to do that, we are going to first merge because we have overlapping vertices right now because some vertices have been moved into the same, are sharing the same position as other vertices as we have more vertices than points, uh, which means they are sharing uh, the same points position. So to do that, we, to remove that, uh, we're going to use a merge by distance. Uh, that should remove uh, the duplication of those vertices. And uh, then we want to create some road. So I'm going to use an extrude uh, mesh we should extrude this up, but I don't want to have it to have any height to this. So I'm going to remove the offset and then, uh, by, by the way, another way to show you what I've done before I even use this, let me first mute the extrude. I can just for demonstration purposes, I can add uh, a split edges and then scale elements just to show you what we are trying to do. So this is, uh, these are going to be like, uh, I don't know, burrows or how, how they are called and uh, then, uh, and then, so these are going to be our burrows, and uh, then, then the spaces are going to be our roads. Uh, that's what we are trying to do here. So I'm going to remove that because that was for demonstrations. Uh, I'm going to mute, uh, extrude again and uh, use a scale elements, scale elements here, and use the top uh, because remember, uh, we have this extrusion under uh, the, the top faces here what we are meaning here so if i use that selection and scale this you can see we create uh that there but uh, i don't want the ex any offset on the extrusion so you can see now we have uh the what, what you would call maybe bros and uh, then then the roads so from there we can uh we can separate the roads from uh these <coughs> bros so i'm going to use a separate separate geometry separate geometry and uh, I can use this top selection and you can see uh, we need to change this to faces so you see those are our roads and uh, these are our basically the foundation of our uh, buildings but uh, this would be two block two rectangular uh, of other roads of buildings and it will be too big so what I'm going to do is split them again also subdivide this again subdivide mesh and that should give us a few subdivisions like that. And I'm basically going to repeat the same step here. So I'm just going to grab this extrusion and then scale elements and just connect these. So we have 
yeah, something like that. So the inner building, the smaller, the buildings, the actual buildings themselves. So we can even further separate these as uh, to make things much easier. Let me just expand this and grab a separate geometry. And again, we're separating the top. So that's our buildings. One other trick we could do is convert this to a mesh, convert uh, to mesh to, me to to curve sorry to curve mesh to curve and uh, that should give us uh, outlines like that we have lost the fill uh, so what i'm going to do is uh, first fillet curve uh, because I, I find these pointy edges a bit out of uh, character it, they don't make the city look as good so i'm going to use a fillet curve uh, so that uh, i can round the edges a bit like that and then now i can uh, Fill radius, fill, fill curve. Let me just use an end gun. I like that. Now we have our city blocks. And uh, then from there we can uh, extrude. Shift A, extrude mesh. And uh, you can see what we already have. Now we have something that uh, looks like a city. And uh, if I extrude this, we get something like that. I can use a random value random value here and uh, fit this in the offset and uh, basically just have something like that but uh, cities usually uh, expand uh, the the middle pieces are usually taller so what we can do if we wanted that we can use a uh, proximity mm, no we don't even need a proximity we can use a position we can try a position and compare it with the center, which is just a zero zero point. I can use a vector math and uh, get the distance between this. So if I connect this to the offset, you can see what I mean. So the middle ones, we have the inverse of what we want. So let's use a map range, map range. And our value is this. Uh, because we want to invert this and uh, we, we're not sure about the maximum distance uh, so what the maximum distance so what we what we're going to do is use a, a attribute statistics uh, we want to get the maximum value so i'm going to grab this geometry and then this uh, value this attribute and uh, use the minimum here maximum here and I can even collapse this now and just invert uh, this now. So that should invert everything. So you can see what we have. We can do that. But uh, we still want to maintain this random value. So I'm going to come here. I uh, use a, another math, road, a math node. Uh, so let me grab. I don't have one. So math. Just multiply. Uh, this so you can see now the middle ones are taller so let's bring back the roads just frame this so we have these are original roads let me see what should we do different about this ah okay we can join this join this back up start joining things like that but uh so the roads are there now we also want the pavement uh we should be around where is my separate geometry we should be this so i can join this as well so i'll just have this joined like that but uh we still have some gaps i think that's uh because we used a fillet somewhere i can use our join geometry here and uh, let me see yeah so that we bring that face back and now i can just connect this like that and now if we remove this you see what we are looking at one other thing we could do is uh okay so we have the viewlings one thing we want to do is make the roof look like a roof right now so uh we have 
let's see where is that you have this extrusion so to add the roof to make the roof look like a roof we can use another extrusion here and then if I look at this I want only the top part but I don't want to have any offset basically doing the same thing uh, using the scale elements scale elements uh, just scale this face in only the top face uh, like that and then use another extrude but this time we want to extrude uh, again use this top selection push this down like that join this back into the grid and uh, we have that so you can expose a few of these parameters you can expose uh, the seed a subdivision level that should give us uh, oh, the density or this density now let's work on the materials before we do anything else make sure I'm saving okay, so that's our city okay that thing we're going to do is work on the road so this is our road let's use a set material set material and uh, let's create a new material uh, the color I'm just going to use an image like this and uh, I'll call this road here said that as road but uh, this is not UV unwrapped so what I'm going to do is uh, let me go back here uh, let me change this to a shader editor add on some texture coordinates let me just use object coordinates let me find something like maybe this and uh, let's also make sure that it's using object coordinates so and, uh, let's use set material building can see we already have something interesting but uh, the roof should also be some should use something different so let me use a concrete concrete maybe something like this so our roof uh, we can add another set material here and make sure you have a selection and uh, this should be our concrete it does seem like this sh should go here and uh, this should go here Uh, so we have a roof like that okay so this is how everything looks in cycles and I one thing if you if you're going to if you're planning on using cycles you can also make it so that uh, because right now everything shares the same material every building looks the same uh, in terms of material but uh, what you could do is uh, use uh, the geometry attribute and I use the random per island option uh, this option is only only works in cycles so you can see we get a random color for each uh, for each of these and what we can do with that is uh, just create a few different uh, textures so that's the first one I can uh, choose a different building I like that I don't like how this is styling but uh, this is for just demonstrating and uh, I can also find something like uh, maybe that let's see add that so we have three textures uh, what we can do is uh, grab this and add a convert color ramp convert color ramp actually I could just do a color ramp here connect this to this and you can already see that uh, we have some variation we just need to make this constant so half of the buildings are using this material and then blend these two like this and just create another color ramp from uh, this one and you can see now we have three different versions we have this this now then you can also add traffic lights if you want cars let me see let me show you how you could uh, do the cars unfortunately the random thing kind of doesn't really work in cycles in EV so that's why you see we only have one uh, texture here so if you wanted to add say something like cars what you could do is uh, go back to the road 
which is this. If you look at the wireframe, you can see we have this middle edge. So I can do a separate geometry that we want to separate by edge. So if you look at this, nothing has separate because we, we, we need a selection. And what we're going to do is use edge neighbors, edge neighbors. And you can see the middle one, the middle edge ha has two face, faces connected to this. So it has this face connected to it and it has this face connected to it. Uh, so this one you see it only has one. So we can do a compare. So we can compare the face count. And that should give us the edge yeah you can see we have gotten rid of all the edges that uh, that are not that don't have more than one face so but uh, that leaves us with these edges here shorter edges those can be very easy to remove we can use the uh, is it edge length? Do we have an edge length? Uh, we can use, we can convert this first to to curve uh, because the curve option has an edge length. So get the, get a spline parameter, compare. Uh, we need the length, anything less than or anything greater than I think is anything greater than should be kept. I think I'm having a few issues. Let me first make sure that uh, uh, this is not a single curve. So we need to, before we change this to curve, we need to split split edges so that each edge is a single edge. I like that, and uh, that should uh, separate uh, them easily. And uh, I need this to be less than so that we only have now these edges can be turned into points. So uh, we can use resample curve so that we have more points on this and uh, we can um, let me find a car, 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 car the asset library I think I have a car in here and a car like this and uh, maybe something like this and uh, maybe another one okay I'll just have these in a collection called cars uh, which I can bring in And I just instance on points. So these are going to be our instances. Okay. Can scale these scale these down. Let's use curve to points. Points. Curve to points. Now if we look at the points, that's that's how many points we have. Okay, so now we we can see the cars. Now we can try uh adjusting the rotation. Okay, we can just use the, the tangent and uh, that gives us something like that. And try joining this. Yeah. And uh, the great thing about this is that uh, this is procedure or procedure so we can change the buildings. It's the structure of the city quite easily. And if you're in cycles, remember you also get the random value. So the cars are still there, everything is still there, and everything is procedural. Thank you. And uh, if you want the project files, uh, you can go to blendereverything.com. Go to the free geometry, free geometry nodes setup. I'll be uploading that there for you to download. Uh, thank you.